The Super Arrow indicator is offered for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. On the chart, traders can also refer to this page to understand how the indicator works and has been used. From the navigation section, we select the indicator file and run the indicator by dragging the file onto the chart. Just make sure to pay attention to activate the Allow DLL Imports option from the Complete section, and then click the Confirm option. Once the indicator is activated, it starts drawing markers and trading arrows on the chart. The indicator works using several different indicators like Moving Averages, RSI, and Bollinger Bands. When all these indicators give a buy signal and are aligned, the super arrow indicator displays the buy signal on the chart. Conversely, when all indicators give a sell signal, it calculates the signals and displays the sell signal on the chart. In the settings, under the input section, there are options for us, including the settings for the moving average period series, the moving average period for the con, the RSI period, and the magic filter period which is set to 1 by default. The magic filter takes the previous candles, average, and performs its calculations. The settings for the Bollinger Bands period, the Bollinger Bands shift period, and the Bollinger Bands deviation period are the next two indicators related to full power and bear power, which you can adjust from this section. The next section pertains to alert settings. When a trading signal appears on the chart, with this option enabled, it will display the trading signal alert for you. When the false state is set and disabled, alerts will not be shown. The next section relates to the distance of markers and arrows from the candles, which you can adjust based on pixels from this section. The last part concerns the settings for the theme or custom template of the indicator, which has four different sections. By selecting the auto option, only the colors of the candles change with bullish candles turning light green and bearish, candles turning light red. By selecting the light option, only your template changes. Applying a light template to the chart, which is the template currently on my chart. The next option is dark, which selects a dark template for you. And the last option is custom, which keeps your personalized template and only runs the indicator on the chart. Here, I will select the dark template and then click confirm. As shown on the chart, the dark template has been applied to my chart and the indicator has started displaying signals. Well friends, we have reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would be happy if you share your comments and suggestions with us in the comment section.